Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode. It's about 7.30 a.m. right now. I made the long haul up to Manistee. That's the little river behind me, so um, about a two and a half hour drive one way. I'm here by myself today. Um, I came up here about a week and a half ago and um, the run was late this year, so um, there were fish in here, but they weren't up on gravel yet spawning, so today I'm really hoping they are. Um, we've had a lot of rain the last couple days, at least up here, um, and the temperatures have dropped. It's about 45 today, so there should be some fish up on gravel. Um, I'm going to get my setup. I'm either just going to run a Clio or a little fake spawn sack. I'm not sure yet, but um, run those and see if we can't get any fish up on gravel. So stay tuned. It should be a fun one today. All right, guys. So I don't know if you can see, but right up here, I already see some fish. I've only been waiting for about two minutes. It's a really great sign. We're gonna get up here and see if they're on gravel or if they're just moving up the river. So, we'll see if we can't get them to eat the Cleo out of anger once we sneak up there real quietly. I'm just gonna take my time, go real slow. It's a Tuesday. I just didn't have class today, so these fish should not have seen anyone in the last like two days, probably. I'm in a pretty remote spot too, so that helps. Yep, there's one right here. He just went off to the left. I actually missed a couple here just um, the last time I was here about a week ago. You can see them right there. There's two of them right there. Here's one right here. So there's one right here, and then there's two right here. I'm going to go for these. I have a little better angle on them. Nothing that time. They moved off their bed. Let's see if they come back. Otherwise, I might have to go for this one. There he is. Let's go. I got my drag singed right now. Circles. This guy did not have much fight in him. He's been in here a while. Oh yeah, that is awesome. I'm gonna see if I can't set my GoPro up. Oh baby, let's go. That's a beauty. All right, guys, that is so cool. I've only been up here for about, I don't even know, maybe five minutes. I already got a bunch of fish around me. Um, I think I'm just going to let them go today. Um, I don't really want to mess with cleaning them, I don't think. So I'm going to get this guy unhooked. I didn't even think about getting the pliers, so this might be interesting. But one more look at him. Shallow water. Big king salmon up north, northern Michigan. Doesn't get much better than that, baby. Here's a look at where that hooked him. He was not getting off. I'm gonna have troubles getting that off. I didn't bring the players. That was not, not a good idea. We're gonna see if we can't get him released here a second. We're gonna send him away. Let him catch his breath a second and he should be good. All right, off he goes. Sweet. One fish down and there's all kinds of them in here. So we're gonna keep going work, see how many we can get. Just released that first big king. Oh, I didn't even remember to weigh him, but he was probably um, low, low 20s. We got two right here and two right here. Let's see if any more want to eat it. They're not near as big, but it'll still be fun. There's one. There we go. I'll loosen this drag up a little bit. Oh, wow.
Yeah, I don't think he's very happy to be hooked. <laughs> wow. Oh no. Popped off, there he goes, downstream. Shoot. Well, one for two now. Might try to mess with some of these little ones and then keep going. I really want to find one of those giant 25 to 30 pounders. They're definitely up in here. Manatee produces some big ones. But I'll... There's actually three fish on this bed. The female up front and then the male behind her. Let's see if I can't get this male to eat it. A little behind him there. I would have snagged him if I kept reeling. Don't want to do that. This is a decent sized female. I don't think it's as big as the one I started the day off with, but. Nope, oh, that's going to snag it if I keep reeling. Get out of there. All right. Really seems like all this rain and cold uh, temperatures pushed all these fish up on gravel. Everyone I've seen so far has a fish on it. These ones aren't locked though, so I'm gonna keep going out. All right, guys. So I've walked probably another 200 yards, no, no action, and sure enough, right up here there's a bunch of gravel shelves that I remember, and uh, I figured there'd be some here, and sure enough, it looks like there are. So we're gonna ease up there again and see if we can uh, find one that's locked in and big. It's just a big gravel like bench almost all the way up across the river. It comes up to like six inches and they just sit right up on top of that and spawn on, on top of it there. I don't know. So we'll see if any, I saw one splash in here. He might've just been moving up the river, but it um, doesn't look like there's any beds. They're usually right in front of these gravel like benches that I'm uh, upstream of them. But there are gonna be some in here, I almost guarantee. There's usually a lot of fish. There's a ton of gravel in here, so the fish love this section of the river to come up and spawn and put their eggs down. So I'm just gonna work up here slow, and uh, it's just a matter of time until we find another one locked in. All right, guys, just found one more. Oh no, I accidentally snagged this one. Try to get me in that tree. It's not gonna happen today, honey. Oh wow. That was awesome. Oh she's not happy at all. She's right here. Oh, she did not like that. Oh, she wrapped herself up. Oh, let's go. Oh, got another one. I'm gonna let her revive. I'm gonna get some pictures of my phone, dry my hand. She put up the phone fight. goes there we go got another one. Oh, that's a big one that's a big one oh my goodness oh my goodness